Hey everyone, I'm sorry about my voice. Uh, I do apologize, but I just wanted to do a quick uh, little haul video because I really want to put the stuff away and not keep them in a bag anymore. Um, so these are a few things that I picked up in my rec recent trip to Israel. So probably everything or almost everything you can't get unless you live in Israel and you will go to the store. So I do apologize, but I think it's also sometimes fun to see what you can find in different places in the world. I know most of you watching are in North America, at least according to uh, YouTube, you know, statistics. But um, yeah, anyway, so this store is a beautiful, beautiful store. It's the most beautiful kind of craft store I've ever seen in Israel. And it's located in Cholon, or Cholon, I guess, with an H, I guess you write it in English. And yeah, it's close to Tel Aviv. Um, it's a really beautiful place. I wish I could visit there. And I really tried to buy as much um, local stuff as I could to support the local creators. But a few things here are also from, you know, brands that you probably know. So I got a few papers. Um, I don't have any scrap stores where I live in Austria. So it's always really fun to actually, you know, see the papers and um, see it in real life and be able to kind of touch it and, <laughs> um, you know, see the stuff before you order them. Anyway, this is Prima Marketing. It's from 2017. A lot of this stuff is not, um, you know, super new. Uh, I just thought it was really pretty and I think a lot of this stuff I might use in my art journaling and not necessarily in my scrapbooking. So, this is called Heaven Sent to Collection, Sweet Lullaby. And you can see it has this um, holographic treatment and then the other side is just a cute polka dot but I just really liked the stripes and the watercolor florals which is a theme um, this is from Anna Marie, Anna Marie collection Eloise this is from 2013 this is really vintage stuff also from Prima and this side has this beautiful floral and then this side has this gorgeous um, you know kind of like illustration stuff I'm not sure but it's pretty I love the color this is from Webster's pages and of course I just loved these watercolor florals um, this is from bouquet branch is the paper love is in the air is the collection I don't have a year I have no idea if this is available anywhere this is from one of my favorite collections from crate paper um, cute girl this is called BU this collection is from like two years ago I think 2016 so th three years ago and they had a few papers and this I picked up this one because I really love both sides of it and then these are I think I think these are kind of their um, local design so I had to get the watercolor background and this is one-sided and then this one has um, this big watercolor rose and this is actually double-sided but I got it for this hopefully the sticker comes off without damaging the paper mm, almost not really okay that's a bit of a no-no um, but yeah I'll probably cut it anyway uh, as I said, I think I will use it mostly in art journaling because I usually scrapbook with my hip kits. And more papers. So if you spend, I think it was 100 shekel, uh, Israeli shekel, which is about $25, I guess, you get this uh, paper pad for about $10 instead of the full price, which is like $30. So things are expensive. Um, because you know you have to pay import taxes and yeah expensive so but I thought this was a good deal and um, this was designed by the store owner so again I really wanted to support 
um, local business owners and kind of has a Prima vibe in my opinion and so this is nice it has some um, Hebrew words in Hebrew we write from right to left and yeah that's that's nice so very kind of retro style again there's like some English letters and then again some Hebrew letters so you could cut these up and make titles I just I really like the light colors and I also like this distressed look um, again I kind of feel like this would work really well in my art journals um, really really cute stuff and I think it's all like I don't think there are repeats here which is very very nice um, what else I got I got these stickers they are again from a local designer called Yael Yaniv the store I didn't mention the store is called Netan Ela and um, yeah this is this designers website Yael Yaniv and I just thought these were so pretty so these are stickers it's kind of thin uh, material and then I got some more stickers from the same designer uh, so these are for planner and you can see they're a bit smaller um, but I think I'll use them in my art journal because I don't really plan and yeah super cute again I think most of it has that illustration watercolor look which I love so this one is called pool party and oh I see she also has an Etsy store so if you want to check her out there you go Yael Yaniv on Etsy and these are kind of mint pink planner supplies stickers the name says it all so I thought they were really really cute designs and they were reasonably priced um, I saw this this is also Prima and I just thought this would look so cute on an art journal cover so it's like this obviously you can make something like this yourself but I just saw it and grabbed it um, so it says art in black and white polka dots super cute this is from Donna Downey I can see and it's probably from 2011 <laughs> very very vintagey so probably you can't get this anywhere again I'm really sorry um, another thing that I bought that is I guess the ha home like their house brand in-house brand I thought this was really cute so this is a set of stickers and it has all this like craft supplies theme with a few sayings in uh, Hebrew and yeah I thought they were really really cute and I thought it was something I could very easily use in my art journal and um, yeah and then I grabbed these two um, stamps so this one has this kind of camera stamp and I just thought it was really really cute remove the price tag and it was like two and a half dollars something like that so you can stamp it like this I really really liked it and then again I wanted to buy something that um, was more local so this has again Hebrew um, letters and it says discover the world and it's just like this kind of vintagey looking stamp so I'm really happy with what I bought oh and one last thing that you know they get you when you're uh, standing to pay is this a uh, fountain pen which I have no idea if this really works but it's uh, pretty and it's quite uh, heavy it has a nice weight to it and it actually comes with a converter so in theory I could use whichever ink I have in this um, I will try hopefully it works it's very very pretty and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!